Hello again, this is Robert V. Chair. This is my video review of the ASEGMAT brand, their model TR120E, the thermal imaging camera. It has a 120 by 90 infrared resolution. There's 10,800 thermal imaging pixels on the internal sensor and it has a 25 hertz refresh rate. That's how fast it refreshes to allow you to see the image on there, and that's really fast. Uh, it's like normal video practically has a front laser that you can turn on and off there's the optical sensors and there's also an LED light you could turn on and off if you want to just illuminate the area that you're testing it has a 2.4 inch LCD screen it's IP54 so that you can get splashes and no dust will intrude on the unit it has a range of minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to plus 752 degrees Fahrenheit which is really good. This company provides a 60-day no excuse returns and up to an 18-month warranty on this product. This product also gets excellent Amazon customer rating so people really love this product. You can also notice that it has a 1 quarter 20 so that you can use this on any standard tripod which is nice. It comes with the charging and this is also a data cable it's USB A to C and then it has a strap that you can put on if you like comes with a 32 gigabyte TF card and a very nicely written instruction booklet showing you how to operate the whole unit when I first got it it was in the Chinese language and you just have to go through the menu and I'll show you you could put it to English so this has a reinforced body on here it's all uh, polypropylene and it has rubberized feel to it and they did drop tests on this for up to six feet even and it handles the drop no problem so you look right here you open this up and you have access to where you can put the TF card on the left and the USB-C charging if you want to keep this water resistant make sure you keep that closed you have the different options on here in the menu we're going to go over that let's continue going over the, the specs on this so internally there's a 2600 milliamp hour battery in here and that'll last up to nine hours of operation and you could charge up to 90 percent in just two hours so two and a half hours it's fully charged from complete dead so that's great because that means you could use this for a really long time nine hours and not worry about having to charge it this is also really portable and compact packs a punch when it comes to capturing thermal images with a resolution of 120 by 90 you'll be able to accurately find hot and cold spots additionally enhanced experience will remain in the form of that 25 hertz refresh rate that I talked about because that means that it acts like a normal video camera on here so what is a thermal cam for this is so cool what this is doing is measuring temperature changes where there's cold or hot and it recalibrates itself Wherever that little plus symbol is right there, that's where it's going to show you the temperature. So if I were to put my hand in front of here, you can see that it's showing red for my hand. Now let's look at the table right here. The table is running pretty normal cool. Now watch when I put my hand right here. Let's take a look. So what's going to happen is I'm heating up the actual table with my hand. Now I remove my hand. And there's a ghost image right there. So there is the heat that I imparted on my hand. And that color range right there shows you the temperatures of that. So that's really cool. So that I left a pattern of heat BTUs on that wooden piece right there. So that's just an, one example. I'm going to give you several examples of how you can test all kinds of things in your house, your car, uh, anything you have that's going to generate heat or coolness and we're even look at things like ice cubes and stuff it's really really an impressive product to have I always wanted one of these I'm glad to have it because it's such a practical thing this also has a thermal sensitivity of minus 0.06 degrees centigrade and NETD less than 60 millik you can look it up what that means so that really means that infrared cameras can perceive very small differences in temperature and discovering problems in areas that may have been overlooked so that's what's so cool about this is it's going to show you differences in temperature that allows you to see that 
and there's also different six colored palettes that we're going to show you have lava which is what it's in right now default rainbow hc black hot white hot iron and rainbow again so that's really nice you can change the way this looks i particularly like this pattern the best because it shows me the most information there are ways to put hot and cold spots on here and it'll actually measure that you can set that and when you put the 32 gigabyte tf card that's included it will record video when you hit this button right here you can see it complains because they don't have the tf card put in but it will record video and we're going to show you how to download that video on your pc and uh, be also same on a mac and what's cool is you can review this on your computer and you can get a more a larger screen and see what's actually going on so just in terms of all the specs let's go over 320 by 240 2.4 inch TF, tft display which is great so that it's not sensitive to angle changes the pixel size is 17 micrometer the infrared spectrum bandwidth is 8 to 14 micrometer and again the thermal imaging pixels i talked about was 10,800, which is 120 by 90 and that's the sensor that is internal in here thermal imaging sensitivity is less than or equal to 60 millik the spatial resolution ifov is 7.6 millirad the field of view that this lens is looking at is 38 degrees 38 by 50 degrees and again the refresh rate is 25 hertz so i'm going to install the included tf card the contacts go towards the screen just like that and you push it in and it clicks real simple charging is very simple <clears throat> it has a display right there i've got the usb-c and i have the usb-a into a one amp usb-a charger the screen will go away but it is still charging and it'll let you know when it finishes all those uh, lines will be not moving anymore so here's an example where i'm using it on a little tiny tripod which is nice if you want to have something really stable as opposed to handheld. So right here, it's showing me that uh, my window has got heat on it. You can see the red right there because the sun is hitting those areas. And the green area right there in the blue is the insulation on the house. So if I had some, so if I had an insulation problem, I would see the heat coming in from the outside because outside is about 85 degrees but you see how it's blue right there the heat only comes in on the window because the window is not perfect it will all, always allow some of the heat to penetrate into the house so here's a cool example i have it on the tripod still and that's pointing to that led light as part of my studio right here and you can see that the temperature is on the top of the bulb right there because that's where the heat is rising and you also see the actual filaments of the LED now if this was an incandescent bulb that would be a lot more all red but because the LEDs are so efficient you could see that it's only in the green area right there so here's a little experiment I have one of these plasma balls and uh, they generate some heat with a high voltage so let's take a look what it shows. You can see all the heat there, all the red, and the actual temperature right there. It's showing 89, 80.4 degrees right on the red part of the ball itself. So here I'm looking at my PC right here, and uh, I could see in the upper left corner there, there is some heat, but it's not too bad. And that's to be expected. The PC right there has got the fan and it has all the electronics inside there. But if those fans weren't working, this top right here would be showing a much higher temperature. So it allows me to make sure that my PC is not overheating. Here's an example of my monitor. And you can see the heat signature where all the heat is. It's on the bottom of the monitor. You'd expect it to be on the top, but it's on the bottom where the electronics is. Here I connected the cable to my PC and you see it shows the connection right there and there I can expand and I can see the images that I took of whatever I was testing here I was testing the monitor edge to look at the heat structure the heat here I was 
Here I was looking at the monitor right here. You could see the heat signature right there. We're doing some cooking and you could see the pan right there. And notice that it's got the green, so the outside of the pan is not that hot. But look at the bottom right there. It's showing that the fire, and then it's, uh, that fire is going and setting it to the pan, showing you the heat signature with the transfer of the energy into that pan. Here's the inside of a freezer, and you can see that uh, it had the low warning on there because it's sensing the low temperature. But well, you can see it's showing it at about 3 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you have a freezer problem and you want to see the uh, temperature of inside the refrigerator or freezer, this is going to show you. You can see that the color is blue. And of course, if you move towards the handle, it goes to red because that's the outside. And this is the inside where it's really cold. And the same goes for the refrigerator. You can see the temperature inside the refrigerator being displayed there is 33 so you know that it's working as you go towards the top the temperature rises because it has the actual LEDs up there and heat of course rises so it's showing you that now let's go over some of the menu things to gain access to the actual menu you hit the OK button and now you can move up and down where you got screen display you got your high low alerts LED light turned on and on there's the different modes of the palette modes. Here's the setting right here. And you got language, temperature unit, emissivity, laser on and off, time date, brightness, and auto power off settings. And again, that LED light can come on right there. You have a choice of turning it on and off. And it's got a front facing LED light right there, which is nice. Here you can turn the laser on and off. It will shoot a red laser, letting you know where it, you're pointing and where it's getting the, the thermal information from. Here you can select the palette. So you have rainbow, lava, iron, white hot, and black hot. So it really depends on your preference, what you feel is going to allow you to see the information better. So you have a choice of all those different settings to help you out. Pick the one that allows you to see the best image of the thermal energy going on. So after testing the A-Segment, the TR120E, what do you think about this product? Very, very cool, very, very functional. I'm impressed with the quality of it. it. Seems to be built like a tank. And it's just one of those products that you're gonna wanna have if you wanna check the thermal response of anything in your house. This is a great way to do it. So I love this product, I'm impressed. I'm gonna give it a full five-star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. And if you thought this review was helpful, please hit the like button. There will be an ordering link in the information section of this video review. Please use that link when you order this product to help support this channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.